you got some steps on the front porch or any porch for that matter that you want to rebuild here's an idea for you i'm going to show you in this video how to make it so check these out right here these here are actually retaining wall blocks and caps that we have made into stairs as you can see here in uh, later videos i'll show you the whole process of what i've done here but we have the concrete we poured in front of it but then each one of these we made them all to where they all match up to where everything is the exact same step going all the way up guys if this looks like something you'd like to do stay tuned to this video subscribe to the channel and i'm going to show you guys how it's done all right well the first thing we got to do here before we put these new steps in is get the old steps out and this old sidewalk with all of the well there's only two bushes left there but you can see here we got these steps out of there they uh actually were pretty heavy as nothing but solid concrete but that bobcat made easy work of it i had a friend come over and he helped me out with it saved a ton of time a ton of labor yes we could have busted it up but it would have taken forever and he did this in like i don't know maybe 45 minutes or something it was pretty quick with our supervisor there watching over us now we're getting started on laying the base that we have here biggest thing is you've got to be level from the get-go you don't want to have it off any way shape or form this right here is showing a picture of the retaining wall block itself i got these off menards i will put a link in the description for those and this is the cap that i used i will have that in the description as well all right guys here we are now we're ready to put in everything's been laid except these two corner pieces that we got that are going to, have to be cut all right so i'm going to give you two options that you can use first option walk over here I recommend I recommend using an old one just this is regular skill saw is all it is and we just have a non-abrasive blade there on it okay like a tile saw blade you can use that that one there I used I built a whole wall with this before cut it but most of the time you got to cut from both sides so it makes it a pain but if you want to put your big boy pants on Cut it with one of these okay now most people probably don't have one i understand that you can rent one if it does it's gonna make it a little bit easier because i'm probably gonna be able to cut all the way through it in one pass and i have to flip it over cutting all that mess and it's just a whole lot quicker and better than trying to use a skill saw with the blade and you don't mess up your skill saw so if you don't have an old skill saw this may be the way to go either buy one i had to cut all these windows out when we redid the house so i bought this for like a couple hundred bucks used it for that and i'll be able to use it for this so it's gonna pay for itself so that's just an option so let me show you real quick how to measure when you measure whatever you're going off of make sure you pull the way it's going to be sitting because there's a top and a bottom like this is the bottom this is the top you want to pull from the way it's sitting and the way it's going to be touching your other block see how i would want to pull from this side my measurement as opposed to pulling this way if this was the way it was going see i would have this cut in against that that's why you want to always pull from the other side we're gonna get these two in here and then after that the first row is done everything's level then we'll start back filling and then we'll raise everything up to where it needs to be and then start on the second row so let's get these cut oh next thing despite popular opinion i would okay this isn't it actually but i would wear some safety glasses okay i would do that next thing this actually is a good time to wear one of these okay you know it says on the box it doesn't prevent COVID, so you have some, let's just say it, some morons that said you were supposed to wear them. But this is actually the application meant for these, okay? Just saying. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, 
how it's done. I would not recommend wearing shorts. I just did. Get a lot of it up your shorts, just in case you're wondering. Again, that's what these are used for. Just saying. All right, back out here on the stairs. Let's show you what we've got done so far. So we have our first run in. Okay, we've got everything good and level all the way across. I've checked it. Everything's good. We got our first one cut. So here's what I got to have, okay? What we're doing on our next step is now our next block is going to go behind here. Uh, let me grab one and I'll show you. All right, so it's going to sit in there behind there like that. Now, obviously, that's too low. I still have to bring all this gravel. It's still going to have to come up more. The blocks weigh 80 pounds a piece. The caps are 56. So if you are going to do this project, be prepared for that because they are very heavy. But once you get them in there and get them set, I mean, they're going to stay. They do a good job. Anyways, that's what we have going. So now what we're going to do is get that filled in where it needs to be. We'll step back, recess, get our second row going. And hopefully this one will be a little quicker than the first one. Alright, we've worked our way up. We're on the top step. I'm going to give you a tip and just show you what you need to do with these in order to make them work. So, you have corners the way I have these. These are just the regular blocks, okay? But then you have corners. And let me show you the difference. As you can see, the corners have on this side and one side, okay? There's that makes your corner so that way you have aggregate on the front and aggregate on the back on the side rather that way see it matches here and it's gonna match your front block as well so those are your corners I used some one time they had lefts and rights this one here actually is a little bit easier because all they, they just made it flat on both ends that way you just flip it one way or the other see if you have that piece there and if we flipped it over that would go and fit right over here you'd have your aggregate still on the front and then it flip on the other side and there would be your aggregate that way it matches the side. So I wanted to point that out to you in case you're wondering, well, how do you do that? That's how you do it. And also, next thing, you need to put those in first when you go to your next step, because if not, you're trying to shave down the side of that thing, uh, literally the whole length of the block, okay? So if you get over here and I start with just a full one, put another full one in, put another full one in, yeah, I probably can fit them all, but then what's gonna happen, then I'm gonna get over here and I'm gonna have a corner piece and I'm trying to shave here trying to shave there and make that fit me personally i didn't think that worked as well so i just made these super tight like these are cut right here they look just as good as the rest of them and that one there's cut i just made it really tight it is a bit of a pain but uh just you just got to make it tight and work it in there also another thing i want to suggest you use do not use just a regular hammer on it you want to get your rubber mount that way you can you can hit pretty good with this thing here it's not going to crack i mean if you really have it in a bind, it will, but I'm saying all in all, you can smack it really good with this thing here to drive it down to get it level, and it's not going to break on you. I did have one chip on me earlier, a cap, but it was my fault the way I had it sitting and I hit on it. We're pretty well at the end of this here for the block part. Now i got to get the caps put on, and if there's anything, I'll uh, probably be a few tips here and there. I'm going to show you guys about that, and we will get the full finished product here in just a few. Oh, one other thing. I don't know how much I showed of it, but you can see each one of the blocks, okay? Then it gets filled with the dense grade. So we put dense grade on the bottom. Then after you get that first row done, dense grade, dense grade come in here, made that level, filled these block up. Then we put the next row in, leveled it, filled in behind it, filled those in. Then we come in, same, you know, same step, up, however many you gotta do if you're doing these for steps. So we still gotta put the cap on there. I, that fits up nice and tight in there. Everything all in all has worked out fairly well. Right now it's a bit of a disaster. It decided to rain for about an hour, so now it's a nasty, muddy mess. But we'll get it in there. Oh, one other thing you know that you're going to need. Need you a good little hand broom like this, okay? And the reason we use that, get down here and you get ready to put your caps on. You want to brush all this off. And this right here works very well. Because you got to have that. You can't have those small pebbles. You're going to put your cap on there. It's going to teeter-totter. And it's just, you're not going to like it. And it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to do it with your hands. And that gets it so much better than what you can get with your hands. And it doesn't, it's not as rough on your hands. So there's another tip. Let me get these caps on here. And then we will show you some more of what we have going with it. All right, here's our finished product. Let me show you guys what we have here. I ended up going with a four. So I have four steps. As you can see, this first step's a doozy. But the concrete, I'll get all this laid out. Concrete will come about here. So it will make the step the same all the way up. Um... I have this sprayed right now. I just sprayed it off because it was dirty. It's why it's a little bit darker right now. 
But uh, if we end up liking it, I can come back and go with a, a tiller or something like that on there. Here's the finished product. There's some cracks along this where because you have split face, they're all not exactly the same. So they, they make this special compound. It's like a sand you're going to put in there and then get it wet and I'll smooth that out. And that will fill in all these extra voids and cracks that we have. But uh, one other thing you could have done, I ended up not doing, you could have 45 this, but for me to 45 it, it just was not going to work out very well. So that's another option you could have done. Um, the tools you're going to need, like you saw in there, I used the saw with an abrasive blade. I had an actual concrete saw. You can use that or rent one if you need to. All the other tools, I mean, your basic tools. I do, like I said, if you do not have one, I recommend getting a rubber mallet. That helps a lot. You can hit on these blocks and it doesn't chip them it doesn't break them so it's very helpful so guys if you're looking to do redo maybe your stairs or anything like that check this out also these same blocks i'm going to be putting a retaining wall over here take a shot right over there where the grass is you're going to be able to see these blocks here that's actually why i got them these here i just used a couple of them to make this here but that's what we'll be making so stay tuned guys this here we're going to be putting in pouring the sidewalk we're going to be putting in landscaping all that kind of stuff and we'll make this actually look like something right now it looks to be honest quite awful but like i always tell people it always gets worse before it gets better when you're doing construction it always does you're kind of like well what i get myself into but it always is that way it's just it's just the nature of the uh industry and the business so guys if you would if you like this please give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button uh hit that notification bell that way anytime i put new stuff out especially with this here you can see how it's progressing we're going to do something to the front porch as well. Also, I'm going to be redoing the top side of that. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do, but I'll let you guys know what I got. So we appreciate y'all watching. And remember, as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY? Thanks for watching.